What's going on, everybody? Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and grills. We are doing a stipulation from Crutch Jr. today. We're going to try to. If we can't get it, we'll just we'll postpone it. Uh, it's important to me that we're able to actually do these when we choose them. You said duty. I did say duty. The stipulation, the tentative stipulation, is let's try not to let the opponent have any lands as many ways as possible to take the opponent's mana away. Michael B. ready with his glasses. There are no mana denial cards in this pack. We could. There is a Consecrated Sphinx. Ulamog gets rid of lands, but... He I'm, does, yeah. Unless I was going to say, we might end up green, so maybe Crater Hoof, but... Green doesn't have a ton of ways to get rid of lands, though. Plow it just under? has, like, acidic slime. What? Plow under acidic slime? I don't know. Yeah, but I mean, like, it's usually a one-for-one. One. Ulamog kills lands. Ulamog does kill lands. It might just be Ulamog. I mean, if we're trying to stip, this is the only card in the pack that destroys lands. So. Well, fire con well, mana is fire confluence, so it's either... I want to take the Ulamog. I don't think red as a color also has a ton of ways to get rid of lands what? either. Yes, it does. Red? Yeah, red, sure. N name them. There's uh, the hasty guy that comes in and destroys lands. Avalanche land. Rider. There's Avalanche Rider. Avalanche Rider. That's it. It's not like... I mean, like, red historically does, but they're not in the cube. There's no pillage. There's no stone rain. Yeah, there's no true. molten rain. I'm not saying red as a color and its color pie identity doesn't have ways to deal with lands. I'm saying there's not a ton of cards in the cube that can deal with lands. It's Wildfire is a good one. Oh, Wildfire yeah. and Burning of Zinni are two cards that I... Uh, Burning I, I of Zinni. 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 Is it new? <sighs> Demonic Tutor is really strong. It's true. In cube, this step forces you into white? Yeah, kind of. White X. It's really stressful. <laughs> World fire. What does that put you to one, right? See they're choosing I think it's demo. We're gonna take the demo here. I don't know if demo. that's Demo Demo None of these Demo. Cards. None of these cards deny land, unfortunately. Mox time is pretty strong though. I mean, it's alright. Fast man is good. Really? I'm a mighty, mighty man. I'm young and I'm in my prime. I think it is Mox time in here. I like Fallen Shinobi. There's that Avalanche Rider. <laughs> there is an Avalanche Rider. I don't know if we're like... We could be like Jund. Or we could be like Mardu destroy stuff. Mardu destroy stuff. I don't think we can still be there. I feel like four picks, four picks in is a little hard because you're either committing to not, uh, you're either committing to not doing it or doing it, and like it's kind of hard to just keep picking without the intention of doing it. You know what I mean? Because you waste too many packs. Oh, bro, were you thinking it was the indestructible Avacyn for like eight thousand mana? <laughs> I kind of just want fallen shinobi. Yeah, still nothing. Still no mana denial other than, like, Woodfall Primus. I'd rather have, like, Ravages of War, Armageddon, like, Wildfire. I'd rather just be one of those decks. Because otherwise it's, like, really kind of hard to... I like Basalt Monolith here. Yeah. With an Ulamog. I mean, we're not out of it yet. But, like, if I don't see anything within, like, two or so picks, we're just going to postpone... No, no, Crutch Jr., it's totally fine. I, the, my, my, I just want to make sure when we do it, it, it's actually, it's natural, right? Rather than like, well, we got one Armageddon in our deck, you know. I'd rather have a, a real good, I mean, I'll I'll just keep an eye on it whenever I'm, whenever I'm cubing and I'll, I'll see, like, when it's, when it feels like we can get it done, we'll, we'll, we'll get it done. I kind of like Resto here. You can play Resto, blink, blink a creature, and then like, fall in Shinobi the Resto. Can you blink your Basalt Monolith? Or is it only creatures? It's only creatures. I thought you were joking, and then you said, oh, is it only creatures? And I was like, oh, yeah, it's only creatures. Ooh, Godless Shrine is nice for the for the thing I just laid out. All right, you can go back in the deck now. Yeah, we're taking the Godless Shrine. Let's just let's just be Esper hot, hot shit. <laughs> Esper hot shit. What about this Reggie? I mean, that guy's a real threat. Reginaldo! Sword's pretty good, too, though. All right, no more stipulation, guys, unfortunately. But... 
it's gonna happen. We're gonna keep it in mind. Oh, I like moat too. We could just be the moat deck. Mm. We're not really a moat deck so far. Why? Because only one of our creature flies. Yeah, but this guy can still get in there after we attack with Resto. And Ulamog don't care. We just build our deck around it, Michael. No day of judgment came back. Oh, Thief of Sanity. That's another floaty boy. You really like Thief of Sanity? I love Thief of Sanity. I love Thief of Sanity. All of these are good. Smuggler's Copter, Geist, and Banishing Light. I'm going to take the Banishing Light. What do you think? Yeah. You like that? You like that, Michael? Michael, do you like that? Michael, would you like some sausage? Brainstorm? Michael, would you like some sausage? Michael? No, I don't want any sausage. Sausage? Michael, would you like some sausage? Would you like some, Michael? Mitchell. Mitchell. I hate Brainstorm. Wow, Mother of Ruins, Archangel, Avacyn. Look, look, we got, so far we got Thief of Sanity, Resto, and Archangel, Avacyn for our moat deck. You like that? All right, now it's looking better. Oh, yeah, now he's coming on board. How about Lingering Souls? You like them for our moat deck, my dude? Uh, maybe. I like Par Parallax Wave. Clearly not. You put it in the sideboard. I like it if we can get up. Hey, Mike, look, another flyer. It's like mono flyers now. Also, mono things that, that are real good with Fallen Shinobi. This deck won't turn down a Mold Drifter. You ain't kidding. Are you kidding me? Time Walk. Oh, God. But it's Jace. It's got to be Time Walk. Is it? Jace ain't restricted in Vintage. That doesn't... Yeah, but he's real good. He'll t he might table. <laughs> <laughs> Not in your life. I don't know if that works in that chat. Let me do it over here. Where's the chat? I'm just going to take too much time. Well, I don't know what I did, so... It might take too much time. I got time. You got 30 seconds. I don't know why it doesn't work. Open a setup menu to create a poll. So I click it and then nothing happens. Alright, cool. Whatever. You can't pass time on current. I agree. Jace or Riot. It looks like we were one for one. To be honest, I have seen time walk wheel once. Really? That's insane. That sounds that does sound insane. People know about taking extra turns. I like Winds of Abandon. Yeah. I like Gopher's pretty good too. Gopher? Yeah. <laughs> the spicy gopher? Yeah. Arid Mesa, not bad. Anguished and making not bad. Emrakul, not terrible. Yeah, we already have one big stupid idiot. But that big stupid idiot flies, so it gets around moat. I know. Oh, so I Maybe know. we take that. Course of Portal, also not to be uh, overlooked. Hero isn't even bad. If we no, this pack's out. spicy. Arid Mesa, also not bad. We have Galdus Shrine. It's two colors. I think wins might table. Yeah, I don't think I'm concerned with that. I think it might be Course of Portal. Drawing two cards a turn is real good. I'd rather take Air Mesa over that. Really? Yeah. Black White's usually really greedy about his mana base. No, no, bro. Look, see? <sighs> get rewarded. This makes all of our creatures get around moat, which might come back. I think if either one of these three come back, I'll be fine. I'm going to take the Kirby Tar Pit. Wow, you pass the Crypt the Man like nothing. It's, it's three blue, and we're definitely not heavy blue. True. I like Vista here. Yeah, I like Vista here a lot. It's another storm though. That's like a double moat. Seven mana. It's a double moat. That's like two moats. I want, I want, I want fixing, man. Ooh, path to exile. You like a path to exile? Sure. Spellseeker gets our our time walk and our demonic tutor, which is pretty. It's pretty sick. good. It would also get path. It can also probably table though. I mean, you're banking on a lot of things. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're definitely thinking. Why so late, Sundering Titan? I don't think Sundering Titan is a high pick at all. He's kind of hot trash, to be honest with you. I mean, he's good when he's good. I mean, yeah, in the decks he's good, he's good. But, like, he has to be in a deck that him, he's good in. You have to basically get him out really fast for him to be good. Getting Blackblade seems pretty decent here. 
Came to Torok. Ringo. And Balance. Oh, I fucking love Ringo. When did you... When, have you heard that song? Yeah. When? I don't know. In some movie or something? Was it with me? I'm pretty sure we were driving around and I played that. No, like, wasn't that in the Fallout? No, dude. Iron... No, that's the only... Well, either way, I've heard that song, okay? Okay. Balance Maybe. or him? I think it's him. Grave Titan. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's just Grave Titan. I think we're just black, white, splashing blue. This deck looks powerful. I like it so far. Don't think we're in a. I don't think we're playing Ulamog yet. I mean, we got Basalt Monolith, my dude. Yeah, but you still need seven mana Ringo. plus that. As much as I love Utamog. Winds of Abandon came back, go for the threat, and Anguish and Making came back. Which one's better? Probably Winds, right? Winds is a board wipe for six. Yeah. yeah, but it's like for six mana you get to wipe their board. Against yeah. the green deck, it's like insane. The nutter. Mm -hmm. It's just Path to Exile for one more mana at Sorcery Speed. Balance is good enough for the step at another... Uh, well, Balance can only, can't get lands, though. Does it? Does Balance get lands? Yes. Oh, that card's broken. Sometimes you forget, because Restore Balance... It's the same card. It's the same card. You're right. It's the same it's fucking... It's the same card. Yeah, exactly the same. What's the step? No step right now. I'm going to check... Oh! What just happened? Oh, God. There's all the things you can do. Wait, no, it's got to be this, yeah. Oh, see, I told you, you nerd. I think that's also probably better than Murder Rider. Really? It gives all our dudes float. Most of our dudes have float. We also have a Mox Diamond. Yeah, but like Fallen Shinobi, Grave Titan. <coughs> I think so. Also, the hero's downfall we passed is going to wow. gonna come back, so that's going to be fine. I think if they Norn over Utamog. Hero's downfall? Yeah, told wow. you. <laughs> Nailed it. I even play Crafters playable. It's not, yeah, it's definitely not terrible. Yeah, this deck is the nutter butters so far. Channel's not what we're looking for. Ah, Blue Delta is, though. Yeah, it's pretty good. I like that. If this Thrand Animal comes back, that'd be cool. Yeah, Delta gets Godless Shrine, so it's actually all three colors, which is great. I like Akaya. There's a Sea Chrome Coast. Yeah, that's probably on table, though. No one cares about these. This is actually great. The Exiles, so many things. Soul Rings, Mana Guys, getting rid of Graveyard stuff. I think Kai is actually pretty sick. Yeah, you put it in the sideboard. <sighs> Twister. No one cares about that. There's only one deck that cares about that. Although this deck is the is the Storm Pack. It's got Yogwill, Lion's Eye Diamond, and Time Twister in it. I think we just take Oblivion Ring, right? I was thinking Angel of Sanctions. Oh, it's like the same thing, sure. It's like two Wolven Rings. I cut the Monolith? Yeah, I agree with that. Cut the Thalia. I cut the Ulamog so far. Yeah, I bet Baneslayer wheels, but I don't even know if we'd play it over any of these. Have you seen the new Ashiok? There's... What new Ashiok? Maybe it's the art. Is there a new art for it? No, I bet they mean like there was probably an Ashiok spoiled from Theros. Yeah, Nightmare Muse. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at this. Spoiler alert! There is going to be an Ashiok coming up. Oh, it's definitely Teferi, right? Yes. We're going to put up a spoiler from Theros Beyond. So, I hope you're ready for it. Five mana for a five loyalty Ashiok. One plus one create a two three blue and black nightmare creature with whenever this creature attacks or blocks each opponent exiles the top two cards of the library. Okay, so plus one to make two threes, that's pretty good. Yeah. Negative three return a non-land permanent to its owner's hand. That player exiles a card from their hand. So negative three is just a bounce and they exile a card. That's pretty good. Negative seven, which you can hit in like two turns. You may cast up to three face up cards your opponent owns from exile without paying their mana cost. That, that seems real good. That seems pretty dang good. That's a solid... Oh, so do we know what we just picked? Yeah, we picked Teferi. Okay. I had it reserved. It's been reserved. Ophiomancer, Bitter Blossom, Giver of Runes. Bitter Blossom's pretty good. 
What do you have Bitter Blossom into turn two Bitter Blossom into turn four Moat? Oh, we also have Mox Diamond, so we can go turn one Bitter Blossom and turn three Moat. Yeah, there's Bitter B, B Bloss here. Is that better than Ophio? Probably. Yes. Definitely. <sighs> Give her up for that. It's okay. He sold me. Scroll Bland. Beautiful. Yeah, that. That's a good pickup. Beautiful, 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 beautiful scrub land. Oh, I also like Shambling Van here. Yep. Yeah, keep, keep on. Right. Watery Grave? Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. That's great because now we can search for a blue black with the polluted delta. Uh, Venser's great, but I have no desire to put a double blue card in this deck yet. Like, we have not, not. Yeah, we don't. We just don't need a double blue card. So, Venser, while a great card. That I'm a huge fan of. No, no boy, no. Oh, Gideon and Bane Slayer. Can also take the duress for the sideboard. I like duress for the sideboard better. Grave over Sheldock. So you're not a fan, but like uh, Sheldock also requires to have double blue. We have to have the Sheldock, which is a blue source, and we have to have the Watery Grave, which is a blue source. With having only five blue cards in the deck, we can probably end up playing like six blue sources. Having to have two of them in order to activate. What'd you say? You like what? Duress for the sideboard. Bank. I like Duress because we're not going to play any of these. Like, our five drop slot is... Actually, Fallen Shadow, we can go here, which makes our curve look a lot better. Wow, oh, the Oko table. came back. If you'll not realize how good that card I'm is. just going to take it, I guess. You just, like... like It single-handedly defeats Reanimator <laughs> on its own. We got Gristlebrand? All right, I'll kill it. Well, now it's a 3-3. Three, three. I oh, mean, they can draw seven response or whatever, but... Ooh, got him. I'll take the got him. I don't think we play the got him, but we could. We only have nine creatures. Is that enough? No, I well, guess we have, we have Bitter Blossom, and we have Lingering Souls, and we have Gideon, which are also three creatures. Elspeth, Elspeth is like four. Creature. Yeah. Yeah, Giver of Runes came back. That's pretty cool. Our mana actually came out really well. That's even playable. Oh, my, 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 my. Every white commander players. I'll keep one white up. Man, if you play Mana Tithe in Commander, that is hardcore, dude. That's like the ultimate got him. That's such a slow, grindy format. What did you say? I ignored you because I don't like you. I'm not going to say it. Dang. No, I was just saying playing uh, Mana the Commander is pretty uh, pretty hardcore. Well, Obviously. I feel like out of the three players, you're going to be able to counter something, right? Like if you're playing a four-player game? Yeah, true, but it's also a really slow grindy format, so if you draw it late, it's so bad. No, because they're always going to tap out. Dude, Out of the if you're playing a four-player game and three other players... Somebody's going to tap out. You're going to get somebody at some point. What's uh, what's the cut here? We need it's still one hard cut. to pick up a whole deck slot for Manatai, though. We have Path Winds format. and Banishing Light and Heroes Downfall. Maybe we cut the Path? for We have a Winds. Path is pretty good, my dude. Is Time Walk going more than a cycling card with an extra... Are, we, are you seriously like considering not playing Time Walk? I mean, also have three planeswalkers, so I have no idea what you what you're. You also get two attack steps, which is pretty relevant. Yeah, I also have no idea like what your, uh, what your ideal turn is with a time walk. Yeah, like grave titan out with a time walk is like insane. Uh, if we ever get to connect twice with fallen shinobi, that seems insane. If you have core support, you get to draw two cards. Double like, thief of sanity attack. Yeah, seems like insane. I don't know, man. That seems insane, dude. No way we're cutting that. Let's look at the cards that are good with the second turn, in a row. Scarab God's obviously good. Tefri. Fallen Shinobi. Portal. Elspeth. Thief. Kaya. Bitter Blossom gets us two tokens. Sure. Yeah, I don't know. Ten cards that... Like half the deck. Being being able to... Die. Plus, like, just two attack steps. Time, yeah. Time Walk on turn two is just Gross Spiral, which is still actually pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes it's just a, it's just an Explorer. Well, even, even more spiral. so, because you get to untap and play something for three instead of just having an extra land in play like um it could be a lush norn but i don't really feel like 
I don't know. Like nine creatures. What are our non-creature threats here? We got. Oh, we also like as far as removal goes, we have this, 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 and this. I like that though. And not including moat, which is also like a way to shut things off. Not including Leshnorn. Which is pretty good. Is him too hard on our mana base? Not really. We have Creeping Tarbic, Goblet Shrine, Pluto, Delta Vista, Scrubland, Shambling. But all of our lands are black. Plus we have Mox Diamond. Okay. Just checking. Selfless Spirit? I don't think we just have that. Like, if we're cutting blue cards, we're definitely cutting, like, Thief of Sanity over Time Walk, you know? I could see cutting Selfless Spirit. I mean, I don't like cutting creatures, but I think our threats are big enough for that not to matter. Oh, I was going to... We were looking at the cards that were threats, but not creatures to, to count those. So, one, two, three, four. Is that it? So, we have like 13 creatures so we get on to 12 technically I think that's fine <laughs> like self sphere is good but it's not probably going to win us the game I do like self sphere with Fallen Shinobi yeah, though that's a good point actually I probably just yeah. want to cut I, I think we just cut a Leshnorn I just don't think we need it yeah okay I can get behind we that. get to play all of these lands that's pretty sweet Sort by color. So, all right, blue sources. We'll stick with two for now. I think we're going to go to one, though. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten with Mox Diamond. Ten white sources. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So, this is eleven, eleven. And then blue, we have one, two, three, four, five. One, two. Two, three, four, five, six. Seems plenty. Yeah. So is this five, six, seven, eight, nine? Yep. That's pretty good. So eleven, eleven, six. That actually seems great. I'm a mighty, mighty man. I'm young and I'm in my prime. Yeah. What are you doing down there, man? Stretching it out. Okay. How's that working out for you? Pretty good. I think Collector Brutality is fine, but I'd rather see the cards. Like, there's a lot of cards in the... Oh, wow. I like turn through him, turn through Gideon. Seems Dece. I think it says... I think it's Dece Plus. It ranges from Dece to Dece Plus. There you go. <laughs> there you go. I if we have to play, but... Oh, oh no. Geez. Oh, Biscuits. <laughs> I wonder if they play... I love it when they go... They don't use the jet, so they just pass. Well, this does make our him a little better. Oh, that's good. That was actually a pretty good draw, so now we can actually play the Teferi. It's pronounced Tarifi. It's not. Maybe not to you. It is not. Kaya does get rid of a Mox Jet. Here we go. This is how we die. Master of All Hunt. Oh, fuck me. This actually might be how we die. <laughs> Where they get, like, Progenus. Oh, well. That's still very good. It's probably still going to kill us. They go seven lands next turn. NBD. Well, they're probably going to have just gonna six top deck mana pass. Next it's turn. fine. I Maybe mean, we better. Or wins. The top deck wins abandon here. That would be fine. I guess we hit him. Hopefully, we hit non lands. Devoted Druid land. <laughs> They're like, yes, their I got to spell, keep my one yeah, acidic slime or some good, bullshit. Yeah. yeah, here we go. It's going to be a clone so they can get another Titan. Progenitor so, Mimic. So that was turn Copy two. Copy that, dude. That was turn two, Prime Titan. Turn one was Mox Jet, slow and carry added. Turn two is Natural Order Prime Time. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think it's uh, not bait. You might say Dece Plus. <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> Well, at least he only got two fours. It's Dece Plus, Brett. It's Dece Plus, okay? At least they only got two forests. <laughs> Jesus. I, mean, I think it's just going to kill us. The battle own. cry of the loser.
Maybe that's their only target for natural order. I don't know. Oh, a decent double plus? Yeah, that's that's good. Well, they're not going to get Crater Hoof. They could get Terastodon or Woodfall. <laughs> called it. Shot called. Now we're definitely dead. Well, is this other creature you control? Wow, why can't you give them things? I would love to be able to play this, target this, and then not be dead. But instead, we just have a Gideon that actually does nothing. How is this real? Katie's going into her hopefully last surgery tonight, so... So many surges. Okay. Yeah, don't... Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna go to the next game, guys. Draw one more card. Okay. If it was, like, if it was Moat, we get to just survive it, too. All right, Josh, I'm gonna bring in this friggin' collective brutality. I might just bring a mana tithe too. Terrestrial any good here? Maybe. I feel well, like this is more versatile. It stops natural order. Yeah, it does. I'll take out the Gideon. I like these two, but I don't know what to take out for them. Maybe Time Walk is the play here. Yeah. <laughs> well, give me other suggestions, you old dirt bird. We can take out Demonic Tutor. I don't need it that badly. Like, there's no, there's no super silver bullets we have here. I mean, like, if they do their nonsense and we need to go get a moat, though, like, I mean, that's very yeah, useful. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, I mean, we could cut, like, Lingering Souls. It's not that strong. Oh, no, Katie isn't getting surgery. She does surgery. She's a veterinarian. No, she's totally fine. Kaya seems way too slow and irrelevant. I like Kaya because it connects all their mocks. It connects all their mana creatures. Yeah, but they're going to be able to use it before we get Kaya out. Why are you like this? Does it make you happy to be like this? I'll keep this hand. Just hope they don't have a super good hand again. I mean, as long as they don't go turn one land mocks Sylvan carry out into turn two natural or yeah, this is the problem with these Esper decks is they're a little too fair, but that is what it is. <sighs> Hachi machi. Playcrafter might oh, we could have been playcrafter actually, that might have been good. I I in natural order into that. Yeah, but then you have to get in the situation where they have no other creatures on board. I, I don't like Playcrafter against the green decks just because it's very uncommon that they only have one creature that's very, very good. That's a good point. Like, it's typical that they'll usually have an elf or a devoted druid or something else. Like this guy. Like, this guy makes Playcrafter just terrible right now. Unless they use it as their sack. I could see an argument for actually playing Vista this turn to crack for an island. Get it in time walk. Yeah. I don't necessarily would think white is that bad. Yeah, see, this is like where Playcraft, you just feel like, <coughs> well. Yeah. Hmm. Well. Do, 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 do. Let's hope they don't tighten us again. We don't have any wraths. We don't. We don't. We have one wrath. Sort of. For six mana. Still a wrath, right? It does wrathy things, Michael. Them wrathy boys are at it again. That guy's annoying. So aggressive. Very aggressive. You know that guy? You know that? That's Teddy KGB. Yeah, I know. Have you seen that movie? I mean, what's it about? Rounders? Uh, it's about a poker bro. 
and he plays. It's not the charade. Of course, I've seen it. God. You don't have to be rude, Michael. Yeah, I do. I was just trying to help. I hope we hit a land really badly. Always with the check, check, check. I'm paying him with his own money. Pay the man his money. <laughs> he bet he beat me. <laughs> Typed out that perfectly. Pay the man his money. <laughs> Add a couple Y's in there. I love it how I can't get my group of poker players to watch that movie. It's hilarious. Oh, that's good. What other poker movie am I thinking about with Mel Gibson, Maverick? Yeah, there was a... I don't remember the name of it, though, but there is one with Mel Gibson. Always with the check, check, check. You think that Vivian's very good? Can we just get rid of this thing? We can. We can. We can also just Tefri and draw a card. Yeah, it seems worse. Next turn we seems way worse. Grave Titan. He's like, I'll sack it. We probably should have. Why? It's a green deck. They have tons of ways to get rid of enchantments. What if he has reanimate stuff? But apparently he doesn't, which is why he got regrowth. It's so painful sometimes. This is me. <laughs> oh, you got that one now, huh? <laughs> I've had that one for a while. Oh, you have? I guess you haven't used it often. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I like in Casino Trial, Bond goes all in with a full house, and the bad guy beats him with quads and is like, Ah, oh, mate, you're so bad at poker. How could you go all in? Yeah, that's not realistic. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had a full house. Generally see. going all in with a full house, which is like... Uh, a top tier hand. It's the fourth best hand you can have. Right. Only Outside of like Royal Flush, quads. That's it. Oh, straight Flush. Well, Flush, yeah, straight right. Straight Flush. Which is basically a royal, but not at the hop top end. The hop top end. I've never had a well. No, I don't think I've ever had a royal, but I had. I did get a straight flush once. Getting a royal is pretty hard. Casino Royale was one of the most boring <laughs> games ever. Yeah, I don't think so. I actually love Casino Royale. Wait. Oh, no. I had a roll of funds once because I cheated. Wow. Wow. Cool. Creator has the fun magic card. I, yeah, it is. <laughs> I had a roll of flush once on a casino machine. Too bad it was owned by my aunt at her house. <laughs> 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 wow, Brett, how much did you win? Oh, uh, one of those strawberry candies. 
from the from the Danish cookie tin. Do you think Casino Royale was boring? Who me? Yeah. Oh no, I loved the early Bond movies with Daniel Craig. I did think Mads Mikkelsen was really weird because he had a weird look. Like he was brand new at the time. Like this was like one of his first like probably he just American like movies. himself. Right, but he looks weird. Yeah, but that makes him more villainous. That yeah, makes him I'm like... saying. Yeah, I'm just saying. Like, like because he like he's got like kind of duck lips in like. All right, hold on. Let me see if I can show you guys. He just looked like a weird dude in the movie, and I was like, look at this weirdo. Like he's got this scar over his eye, and he his his lips are kind of like. And I was just like, I don't know. Like, there's something weird about him. Isn't for that how he always looks, though? Not really. Like, so let's look up a recent picture. Okay, hold on. I think maybe it is, but I think he's also grown on me. Because I've seen his range in other movies. I've seen him where he's not just playing, like, James Bond weirdo villain. You should watch that Netflix movie. It's great. S what is it? Uh, it's like Snow or whatever. Something Snow. It's, I think it's just Snow. Is it just Snow? Anyone else see the Netflix movie with him in it? Oh, good. Here oh, we no, go. it was Polar, I think. I think it's Polar. Polar. Different ice movie, guys. <laughs> poor us to poor lizard because Rack of Red and the Dragons. I mean, Jenna, what's going on, buddy? Good seeing you, my dude. I just wasn't crazy about Daniel Craig as oh, Bond. Christ. Well, yeah, if you don't like Craig as a Bond, then you're probably not going to like the movie. No, I think Daniel Craig is a great Bond. Oh, God, here we go. <laughs> oh, look at this. This Doctor Strange Mad Mickelson pick. Oh, yeah, I forgot he was in that movie. Yep, yeah, well, here we go again. Here we go again. Also, it's funny because Mads Mikkelsen being... I hope him... I hope him being in Doctor Strange doesn't disqualify him from future Marvel roles, which I understand if it does. But there's also like I've had a him him playing Doctor Doctor Doom would be just phenomenal. I think he'd be an amazing Doctor Doom. Yeah, he makes a great villain. Well, they just drew three, so they're at five, and they have one, two, three, four, five, six man on board, so they're probably just gonna Okay. Five man on board. Also, didn't that, that guy mm -hmm. die in the Doctor Strange movie so he can just play another character, right? That right, works. but that's still like you still it's it's just a weird way to it's it's not ideal. Yeah, I got you. You can't kill off a character and then just recast them. Like like Idris Elba playing someone other than Heimdall. Because then if you need to bring that character back for some reason, like in a flashback or like... Oh, good. Why are we taking... Oh, because... I mean, the new Blade was also the bad guy in Luke Cage. Yeah, but those are separate universes, technically. Also, the new Blade is not part of the MCU, so it's not really necessary. Oh, it's not? New, the new Blade? Yeah. What is uh, like Blade 3 from like 2000? Yeah, but the new Blade, I don't think has anything to do with that, right? Oh, you're talking about... Oh, you're talking about Hers Mahershal, Mahershal Ali. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah, but Luke Cage... Out. Like, the, the the Netflix shows were not canon right now. Like, they're not part of the MCU, necessarily. So, like... You know. Yeah, again, same thing. They gave Josh Brolin both Cable and, Apoc and um, Thanos... But again, those are separate universes. So, like, when you have the one cohesive universe, the one MCU. Um, yeah, that's like the Fox. Deadpool dude, they referenced thing. the movie in, like, the first season and never again. Like, it's it's well established that they're not uh, accepted parts of the MCU, which is why... I mean, they may be in the future. Like, they're definitely considering bringing them back, uh, like, to Hulu or whatever. But, I mean... Uh, yeah, I've, I've been regularly watching The Mandalorian. Oh my god. <sighs> this is why we should just draft green decks. Right, I think the intent was that they were supposed to be part of the MCU. That's why they reference like, the Avengers. Uh, yeah, totally. Like, that's 100% what was going to happen. But that was also before... Um, what happened? Something happened after that. Yeah, it was before Disney Plus, so they had to actually cancel them contracts. Like there was just a bunch of shenanigans that happened with contracts and I just want to play against a deck that has regular mana. 
This is round two. This is round two, yes. Dang it. We're basically getting beat by the same deck. I mean, let's see let's see what we can do here. Your guess is as good as mine. Well, I'm gonna go for their face. They only breach, so I'm gonna attack their face. Maybe we can hit something sick. Did you ever think about that? What if we hit like Come on, buddy boy. Of course the portal incubation druid. I'll take it. We can vote for the destroy one. They're also at ten. Mm hmm We're at thirteen and we're about to get a lot less. Here comes old... Nope, okay. We did draft Mono Red last night and we crushed with it. Yeah, it's true. It's not wrong. I think we're losing for lack of Wrath. Yeah, Wrath could be probably be pretty good in here. And we've got a Moat and we have a Winds of Abandon. We have two Wrath effects in the we deck. We need to draw them, though. That's not, that's not possible. Right, so it doesn't have to do with a lack of Wrath. It has to do with not drawing them. Like, It's not like... Plus, our one Wrath is like six mana, so... Six mana still, still a wrath, my dude. I mean, it's not like I, I don't know. I expect to survive to make it to six mana most of the time. You fool! Yeah, that's my first mistake. I guess I'll go to six. I would have blocked the druid. What's that guy doing for us? Yeah, well, it gives us five mana next turn, which lets us play Scarab God. Doesn't only tap for green though. Yes, but we still have the mana to play Scarab. I don't know. Just yeah, even if it taps, no, it, it doesn't. But why does that matter? Is don't it? Do we have to get a counter on it though? Oh no, it just taps naturally. You don't have to have a counter on it. Right, right. Okay. You thought it was an O2 that didn't tap for anything unless it had a counter on it? Maybe. Wow, that card. What? <laughs> wow. Why is that a standard staple? I wonder. Uh, I must say Carnage. There's only off chance. They let me draw a card. Dang it. They chose correctly. Let's go to the next game. Wow. And it's a rare. <laughs> like, why would it be a rare if that was like, oh, that's a hell of a rare. Well, I'll bring in this duress again. Let's take out Gideon's pretty rough. Alesh Norn. Uh, if we live long enough. I don't think Elder Storm's realistic. We could bring in Parallax Wave. What does that do? They just it get all the guys down. back. Yeah, but it slows them down. It also gets rid of tokens. It's a four mana, though. Like, <sighs> Okay, okay, we get it. Mike can't read. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you guys. Bring in Elish and Monolith? I don't know. I will keep this hand due to Winds of Mana and Path to Exile. You're speaking my language here. Am I going to court in a heat and run? Crambo. 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 Should I pass sex out? Path that? I'll get a black white here. You think? Is that because we don't need a second blue source? Maybe. Okay. Maybe not. This deck. Of course you drew him. Of course we drew him. Hey man, you can path their noble hierarchy. I literally just said that. So I said, should we oh, path that? Okay. And All like, right. wow. Incredible. That's incredible. How about now? Could save one life point. I guess you're right. Oh, that's nice. That guy doesn't get to hit us next turn. You can never hurt us again. <laughs> should have just grabbed a black black land. It's true. Well, that guy's good. Oh, that was a good draw. So we can take our lumps for a turn or two. And then we can win the wind of abandon. Winds of abandon. I'm game. Yep, don't care about that. All these creatures are just turning into more lands.
really want to land here, so. We got it. Let's just play Avison. Get our block on. And then we can block this so that our winds of man is even better. Ooh -wee! Tickle my pickle. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, no. I would never do that. And block near Tuscarino. Okay, so they're dead. I don't even know if we do it now. I don't think we need to. I don't think so either. They have no do. cards in hand. Oh. oh, Bobby Biscuits. Yeah, believe it or not, being able to time walk next turn and deal eight points with the uh, Archangel along with activating Teferi a second time. Pretty good. Pretty. Seems good. Pretty, 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 pretty good. All right, we're not dead yet. Yep, don't care about that. Omaggio. Let's draw a card. Let's walk the times. Let's bitter blossom. It's creeping tar pit. Might as well mox down. One, two. Is it, yeah, we can just do it next turn, right? It costs sure. us nothing if we're not using the mana. Now I'm just going to name Homage forever. See what they vote for. They're going to be like, Carnage, Carnage! They're just voting for Homage too. Good for them. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we have one, two, three. Oh, we're one shy. Hmm. That's sad. Definitely still do it. I think we just attack first. And then we can just bounce it. They're not going to block, right? Yeah, alright. Fallen Shinobi. One, two, three, four. Get them freebies. Fuck, that's terrible. <laughs> Play free land. It's a green creature? Mm -hmm. That's unfortunate. Cast you, discard you. Activated you. Oh, we get to untap two lands also. Yeah, that's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then they crater hoof us and we die. <laughs> it's so funny how crater hoof can just like win out of nowhere. I mean, we are at nine, so. Well, we'll take care of it. Draw a card, draw a card, the rest your Oh, I guess now we're not going to do that. We'll just win some abandon here. One, two, three, four, five, six. <sighs> oh, they're going to... We're just going to keep rolling with it, huh? Give me them looks. Give me them peeksies, boy. <laughs> is this good I can't tell is this good okay <laughs> well that game went much better indeed indie indie yeah indie I might want collective brutality just to kill a dude I actually like that better than like yeah. selfless spirit maybe sure Yeah, they're like two portals. I'm out. I can't. Keep. Yeah, I'll keep it. I, we need lands really bad. P 
Path is so much worse than friggin' swords. Mm-hmm. Yep, you got it. Jeez, everything's happening. Oh, wow. Signets for days. I'm okay with signets because, like, they don't add to crater hoof mana. But I also can't wrath them away. So they also don't add to Nykthos, which is one, two, three, four, five. So now they're just going to go prime time. Which I will exile promptly with a path to exile. Alright, now we need to land to get rid of that thing. Come on, land. Not only is it not land, it's a black card. <sighs> Never gets easier. Not terrible. Like, we can still take care of this deranged hermit. See if they want to pay. Oh, they'll pay. Carnage. Such carnage. Would you want to see Spawn remade? No, I don't care about Spawn as a character. Spawn, like, just... I. Spawn is just a remnant of the shitty 90s in terms of comics for me. Like, I, I don't... I, he may have gotten better. It may have gotten... Like, I know it's withstood the test of time in the sense that, like, they're on, like, issue 300 or something now, but I just don't care about Spawn as a character. I hard disagree. I like Spawn. Okay. Well, you, you're you welcome to. What do you like about Spawn? I just think he has a really cool design, and I kind of like his orange, origin story. You know what I like? Nothing about you. Wow. Also, I really like the animated uh, movie or series or want to call it short series from HBO or whatever. No, that was the Animatrix. That was from the Matrix. But no, they, that's they not, did, not what I'm talking about. They did a, an animated version. It's weird that you don't know that. Show me Just my put a pot of water on, on the boil. Let's see how long I forget about it while watching the stream. Oh, no. Let's get rid of this portal. Play a land. Thwok is making his tea. I'm making my tea, laddies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Was that? Was that insult? Was that was that an insulting British voice? Oh, wow, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, Vivian Reed is a hell of a card. Making mac and cheese, nice. Tea is trash. Wow, wow. that's aggressive. All right, so we're just taking eight here. Yep. Game three. Match three. Uh, if we hit a land, we can actually Heroes Downfall this and Winds of Abandon here, and I actually feel pretty okay, even though I take four and they're still getting two cards a turn. But, you know, sometimes your opponent draws uh, uh, six lands on six turns. Sometimes you draw four lands on six turns. But our deck looks sweet. I actually liked our deck a lot, but unfortunately, you can't draw lands. So Just because you like coffee doesn't mean you can't like tea. They're not mutually exclusive. I like coffee. I like tea. Michael B. Like you might drink coffee in the morning, then maybe tea closer to nighttime. I can't tell the difference between your offending British accent and your Alfred Michael Caine impression. That's because they're the same impression. Michael Caine. Hey, why do we fall down, Master Wayne? So that we can pick ourselves up to fall down again and again and again, Mazawain. So blowing up lands wouldn't have worked in playing two green decks. Yes, then they're like, alright, well I'll just have six mana with my creatures, I guess. And you're like, okay. I understand. They just had cocoa, do you mean cocaine? Wow, another another sweet land. Land full of hand. Rip it. I mean, even if that was a mox, it would still be a mulligan. 
Yes, Michael, I'm aware. No, this, this is good. I'll keep. I'll probably pitch Kai. I don't think we get rid of a land. That seems way too I'm not going to get rid of a land. I was just thinking either Path or Kaya because Path doesn't seem to do that much. Plus, we might not be able to cast this if we don't hit a blue source. So. Smash pitch your face, Michael. Got him. Got him. I don't know what that means. My cocaine. My name is my cocaine. <laughs> wow, why does that work so well? Because that's his name. <laughs> Tell me. I'm Michael, and I don't know nothing about names. Michael Kane. So bad. Is it bad, Michael? It's terrible. Michael Kane. My name's Michael Kane. It's not. Oh, uh, we do not white. have any blue white lands, no. So now we can play this. Now we can get a bluegill. We have no hollow fountain, we have no tundra, so no. Lotus Bloom. Una's Prowler. They're doing it. Watery Grave. Good thief here. I agree with that. They can block it, though. For I a guess turn. we can just discard a card, yeah. I get to block it for a turn. That's not bad, Master Wayne. This is terrible. What's terrible about it? It's just so terrible. Why do you hate so much? Maybe if you hustle as hard as you hate, you'd be sleeping with your CPAP machine already. <laughs> if you hustle as hard as you hate. Yeah. Oh, shit. Well, that's unfortunate, because that's probably coming back this turn. And... Unfortunately, we can't path in response. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, we got a turn reprieve, boy. Beer, beer, beer. Or maybe they don't have the reanimate yet? I don't know. I don't know either. Or maybe they they got a... Uh, most one that's flashback. Wow, they discarded that. And that was, like, that was weird. But they discard that without having, like, a, a thing. Do you block? Do you not? Do you block? Or do we get a reanimate. Do you block? Do you not? Do you block? Do you not? That'd be spicy. He did block. Okay. Well, we'll pitch. Path. We'll pitch land here. And put this creature in the graveyard, Master Wayne. And we're going to keep. Wait, can we Kaya and get rid of their... Oh, God. Yes. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Well, at least we have still a path up, so we won't get wrecked if he does reanimate it, but... Yeah, I wanted to keep path up. I don't know. I mean, let's be real. Kai exiling their stuff would have been real juicy. Master Wayne. <laughs> hmm, can't do much about that. Uh, Michael had a stroke. Master Wayne. All right, well. Get rid of that stupid. I hope they don't have an instant speed. I don't think they, I don't know what they would be. For two mana, that doesn't, that the two. only one that does that would make them kill at the end of the turn. That could be good, my way. I'm just going to keep saying it, bro. You can't stop me. You're right. I can't. I guess you can beat your head in with a hammer or something. But that's wow. Bad. Evidence, guys. <laughs> Evidence. If I die because of a hammer attack, Michael B. said it on stream that he was going to do it. Can't prove it. I literally can. That's, the, that's literally that's literally what just that happened. Was, I didn't, that doesn't mean I actually committed it. It just means I said it. I like how Alfred is setting into a southern black man slowly. Wait, what? That's pretty good. Grave Titan, I guess. 
You know it's really hard to do the Michael Caine voice without saying Michael Caine somewhere in the like it, it like starts off the accent almost. No. You're being ridiculous right now. Am I? Oh god, yes. Oh man. Our deck is not good, I guess. I mean, we've been landscaped a couple times. How much you can do about that? I can do whatever I want about it. I can do whatever I like. Marco Kane. Marco Alfred Kane. I'd probably path that bad boy. I am, but I'm not going to do it on my turn. Oh, don't let him attack with it first. I'm not going to. <gasps> oh. Now when we path this, they might not even get a land because they they have to shuffle it away. Then he shuffled away, waddle, waddle, waddle. And the very next day, bump, 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 bump. Yeah, if they shuffle, they get rid of whatever they tutor for. That's true. Plus, they might forget about it, so I think we go for it. They got a toot. Mark okay. The Cure of the Smiths? I like the Cure more, but I listen to the Smiths more, if that makes any sense. They're both real good. They're both very good. Mark okay. Oh my god, they chose to search? <laughs> Whoops. Well, that's interesting. So long, Vampiric Tutor. Thanks for paying two life and discarding a card. That's weird. They'll probably just draw it anyway, because that's how magic works. Yeah, they probably will. They're entombing. What did they entomb? Ulamog, the Ceaseless Hunger. All right, well, we can draw Banishing Light. We can draw my dad. We can draw my dad. Well, we can't draw your dad because he's not around. He's still drawing whatever you think he looks like. <laughs> draw what you think my father looks like. My father. Man, this is an 03. Which is okay. Our first three drafts went very, very Our first four drafts went very, very well. All right, well. Oh, buttery biscuits. Man, lands would have been great that game. Uh-huh. But turn six, two lands. Seems good. Let's get duress and collective brutes in here. Just draw a cigarette store to represent Mike's dad. <laughs> <laughs> a cigarette store. Just draw a circle K. Oh, Christ. That's gorgeous. Now we got Gideon every single game. <laughs> I mean, when you gotta make cuts and you wanna cut creatures, like, that's what you gotta do. Probably cut Grave Titan, too. Just I don't, cut it all. I don't, just cut the whole deck, man. Sure. What? It'd be better if one of those planes was a... A Tundra? No. Well, it I would be. I prefer it to be a underground sea. Or no, no, no. Uh, wow, he has no fucking idea what he's saying. Yeah, an underground sea. The swamp was an underground sea. But we have a double white card in our hand. Why would? Yeah, we also have a double black card in our hand. Yeah, I guess that's true. Can't have it always. Always. Yeah. Always and forever. Okay, we probably don't draw any more of those. Keep rubbing your eyes. I'm going to. Keep rubbing them until they come out. What are we? How much money would they have to donate for you to pop your eyes out on stream? To pop my eyes out, like out of my skull? Yeah. There's no limit. I like my eyes. But Thank you can you. put them back in. No. Yeah, maybe surgery. No, it literally you can just push your eyes back in. No. Look, here's an eye pop out video. Watch, you ready? I know what these are. Hi, that doesn't mean I can popper. do it. I have the world record. 
for the furthest eye pop. Oh, it's work. so they great. They measure how far they come out. It was 11 millimeters, now it's 12. I beat my record in 2007. <laughs> over and over again. How do you do that? You just push, man. <laughs> Let me try. Like you're taking a boop. <laughs> like you're taking a little boop. <laughs> please, please get this off the screen. It's horrible. Oh, Jesus. Okay, now you're just going to leave it? You're just going to leave this nightmare? Can you do that? No. I bet you could if you believe. I'm not even watching. I'm about to go vomit. <laughs> go vomit? That's what he said. I just want to go to the Red Robin and eat some burgers and fries. Oh, we're getting smashed, so it probably won't be too long. Oh, no, this, this draft is over, my dudes. I'm not about the eye pop in life. Yeah, me neither. Thank you. Check two. Thanks so much for the resub, my dude. Really appreciate it. You are Cuban awesome. Cuban sandwiches. Oh, pork chop sandwiches. Man, we're them blue sources now. I would love a blue source. We we'll love you back. I don't care. Wow. We'll love you back. Will Will anybody love you back? Got him. Wow. Too true. I'm going to go cry in my room. I'll see you later. <laughs> Have a good one, nerd. Hey, Mike, you done crying yet? Yeah. Can we go to dinner now when you're done being a little baby? Is the B, Mike B, is the B and Mike B stand for baby? Wow. Got him. Does the B and Mike B stand for baby? Does it? It does, yeah. Mike baby? Yeah. That's crazy. Hey, yeah. this is crazy. Okay. Okay. So many fries. <laughs> just randomly. So many fries. <laughs> Alright, so they just played Mole Drifter and that's it. Oh my god, if it was a blue source, we can go Tefri bounce this. Can you imagine? What are you doing right now? Trying to read something. What are you trying to read? This. You put the dollar sign in the wrong place. Red Robin, like 85 for that impossible burg? What are you saying right now? Is that English? They only charge you like three more bucks. I don't know about 85. Seems high. Yeah, I feel like you're going to, I think you're going to a fake place that's not Red Robin. Here we go again. I'm really sad about the verdict of this draft, but I accept it. I also don't know anything about Secret Lair. What it is, how it works. What it is, how it works. What do you do? Don't drink, don't smoke. I don't know why, but now I have the phrase knob slobbin stuck in my head to the red. No, that's not. No. No, don't that's like not that. Okay. <laughs> no, don't like that. Wow. Are they going to play Living Death here? I mean, we have no targets. What? For their their Tarka is only just an 8-8. They are going to play Living Death. Wow. Don't we get to grab one of these jabronis? Don't drink, don't smoke. What do you do? Go to two. You're just going to shoot it. Go to two shoes. Don't drink, don't smoke. Do, don't drink, don't smoke. I think we want to get the Praetor, right? Well, it's just gonna go. It's just gonna die, right? We steal it. Thank it you. dies. Oh, yeah. So I guess we might as well take the Dragon Lord Ataka. Yep, you got it cool. back. Dingus egg. Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. We really appreciate it. Welcome back to the. Is, Is your it name Dingus egg off of the card Dingus egg from Magic? 
I can't imagine it was a different dingus egg. There are multiple dingus eggs? Sure, fucking dingus egg. If I ever saw one, my dude. Wait, Red Robin is a real thing? I thought South Park made it up. Does South Park have a Red Robin episode? Wait, seriously? Red Robin. Yum. Yum, 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 yum. Wow, if we hit a six land, that'd be cool because we can play this out of the graveyard and get rid of this. If we had a blue source, we can play any of these. So now we just get to Heroes Downfall this, which is not terrible, but it's also not the best. Blue source would have been great because we can go Heroes Downfall Time Walk. Next turn, Angel this guy. And then we're actually in decent shape. Favorite card is Dingus Egg? I've never heard anyone say that. Is it possible they'll die to their own Phyrexian Arena? Dingus eggs eat French slander for breakfast. <coughs> Guys, if you haven't done so, definitely follow or subscribe on both twitch.tv slash Frankleport and on YouTube, which you uh, should be Whiskey watching River Barbecue Burger is where it's right at. Now. That's a good one. I prefer the Southern Charm a little more. Also, check out patreon.com slash Frankleport. It's a great way to donate $1 or $2 a month if you want to support the channel in that way. Patreon.com slash Frank Lepore, one or two dollars a month not a week not a video a month it's basically nothing did they, did they just steal my angel of sanctions and like for no value that's weird coolstuffinc.com every Wednesday you can use promo code Frank5 to get 5% off I had a new article go up today called Pioneer Reckoning with Boros Reckoner and Star of Extinction it's a pretty sweet combo Rob and I played the deck and went off on turn 4 with it Oh, oh, my so you God. you snug them for 20? Yeah. Nice. But you also play Iron Crag Feet, which is a four mana spell that gives you seven mana. So you go turn three Boros Reckoner, turn four Iron Crag Feet into Sword, or into Star. And kill and This is hilarious that we. Now we hit it. Yet not the lands to do so. Yeah, right. One more land. Again, six lands would have been really clutch. I don't know why we're even playing this still, but. Whatever. I mean, their Frexian Arena pretty much guarantees they're always going to have more gas than we are, especially when we're not doing anything. Like our 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 our, our draws have been pretty pretty terrible these this draft. I I don't think we've drawn that well. But yeah, we had to hit our moat. Although I guess it wouldn't help in this spot, but goody two, goody two, goody goody two shoes. Mike B, Mike B, what do you do? All right. Yikes. We'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.